sunshine value farm family welcome back to our channel if you are new here you are most welcome please consider subscribing and also turn your notification bells not to miss out on any videos on this channel and of course to all our returning subscribers you guys are gems thank you so much for coming back and thank you so much for supporting value farm thank you so much for supporting the content on this channel i really appreciate you guys so much yeah we are back at the farm and there is a lot going on the farm is looking amazing um i know i already said that but it's just what it is guess what guys we are going to be giving you updates of our no smell pig house it is finally done yes i should say it's finally done it's just a few things that are missing but wanted to give you an update of it and how we made this beautiful no smell pig house so that someone someone out there can also do something like this but i'm really super excited a no smell pig house is very necessary for anyone who is starting a farm especially if you're doing it maybe on commercial basis why i say no smell pig house it's because we are using imo imo method guys most of the people most of the farmers prefer to use to use the slates or to use the flower the flower kind of it but it also comes with with its own consequences so for us choosing the imo method to do our piggery farm is just something that was really bright something that we were trying but it has worked out very perfect and of course we want to also share with you guys and also show you how we have done it and how this beautiful house looks like so that you can also have an idea of how you can improve your pig house out there so for all the beginner farmers or people who want to improve their piggery structures guys this is a great deal for you because you need to learn something you need to also pick a leaf from what we have at the farm this house here as you see on the background it has come a long way but it's really worth it because when wherever you stand here you cannot smell anything guys there's no smell of a pig unless you hear them maybe maybe they, when they're feeding then you can also see the aeration you can see how it is all spaced enough for the pigs to have enough space to exercise and also move around so all that is coming up on this video i want to show you and also give you updates of how the building looks like so far let's go for a tour at our no smell pig house come along with me let's talk about the size of this permanent structure it is about 110 feet long that is the length then the width is 75 feet that's how this house you know that is that the typical size of this permanent structure while the temporary structure that we had it was just 10 by 30 feet so guys let me take you to the permanent structure because the video is about the update about this permanent structure so that you can definitely also have an idea of how you should start yours and even before we go to the to the to the inside of this structure guys what i should really tell you why we improved our structure first of all the pigs you know pigs are really very strong animals they love digging down so most of the time they really dig to the floor i mean at least some feet down most cases and they destroy the foundation so in case you have a temporary structure in the long run it might be very taxing and it might be very expensive for you because you have to always keep alert you need to always make sure that the walls are okay you may have to make sure that the structures are firm all the time because these pigs sometimes become really very stronger than what you have the more they grow so having such a permanent structure is really a wise idea because it is it has a very good foundation first of all and it's a very strong building and it's also comfortable so guys let me take you guys so that you can see how the structure looks like inside so that you can you know pick up something so let's come with me so that you can see what is really here When you come to the structure, this is just like the entrance. This, by the way, the structure has two entry points, like the front and the back side. So the front side, that is when maybe you're letting in the animals to come into their different partitions. Then this other section here is when maybe you want to release them outside because the plan we have here is to also release them sometimes to exercise outside. And what we were thinking about getting like where they are going to swim where they're going to bathe sometimes we let them out to exercise so this is like the back section or the back door that we shall let them to move so guys this is the entrance as you can see the beauty about this other back door is 
then you just come closer to my view. When you come like to the corridor, there's also something unique about it. If you see the corridor of this house, what you have to know is it's a bit slanting because whenever we are trying to clean the house, we want to make sure that when we are cleaning the water, because we are going to be scrubbing this other floor, because the floor, we put in some sand, some cement cast so that it's easy for cleaning purposes. So here we shall be pouring water, we shall be using our detergents and everything. Then the water will definitely slope and get out so that we can have that the house very, very clean. So this other side here in the middle or the corridor, we are just going to be scrubbing, then we spray the IM oil liquid so that the smell does not come to the pigs as well. That is the beauty about it. And of course, these doors here are metallic doors for safety purposes and also not to let people come inside or break into the piggery house. This is what you see. They're very, very strong. They can't break into for security purposes, guys, because this is what you need for your farm. It's a big investment. You're putting so much money. So you need to make sure that it is secure enough. So let me take you guys inside so that you can definitely see what I'm talking about, like the partitioning and also how we did the IMO method so that the, the house does not have any smell at all. So come, come along. So guys, Hi. we are here with our team. You're most welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. How is your morning? It's fine. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. It seems to be a chilled morning today, I think. Did it rain last night? No. Yes. No, the other day. The other day, but it's yeah. a little bit cool and it's, you know, very mm. nice on the farm. Yeah. So guys, this is our amazing team. Please introduce yourselves to our viewers out there. By the way, those are our family members. They love what we are doing here. Just introduce yourself if they're watching you for the very first time. Okay, I'm called Agnes Suwera. If you're a first viewer here, please consider subscribing so you can learn more at Valley Farm. Um, this is Prosper Value from Uganda. Um, again, yet another day for, for me on the camera. Mm. You know, usually I'm nervous, but you know, I'm going to be fine with time. With time? Yeah. Mm. By the way, he has a lot of knowledge, but sometimes when the camera rolls in, <laughs> things disappear. I know. <laughs> but it's okay. I'll so guys, fine. we yeah. are going to be talking because I'm just giving them like an update of this no smell pig house mm. and also showing them whatever is happening here. By the way, like I told you earlier on, we we shifted our pigs from the temple structure to this one. Most of them, even the ones that we had brought very of late have also been put to this other permanent structure which is really amazing because there's room and at least the construction is almost done that's what i should really say it's just a few things that are a bit missing like the doors a few doors but everything is totally here but we are really so pleased with how you're taking care of this no smell pig house and Thank how you. it's not smelling conducive for the pigs and everything so let's just take you guys on the tour so that you can also see the partitioning first, then they will also explain to us why we chose the IMO, how they are finding it, and how they are maintaining the IMO mm. system in this piggery structure. Mm. Are we okay with that? Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. So guys, where should we start? From this one? We start this from this one. Huh? From this one, yeah. The partition so side. So the partition side. So this other section here, as you can see, is 10 by 10 feet. So here is 10 feet. That side is also 10, 10. 10. Feet. Yes, and of course it is a bit longer and there are three sections in this other particular section guys What we endeavor to do is to make sure that they have enough space and lighting You can also see the other side like the roofing light room. That, Yeah, we put in the transparent iron sheet so that the light comes through the building because you don't want it to be very dark Any animal even human beings yes. you need lights. Yes, and even first of all you see when you look through it, they can see it from the video. Yeah. We have that place open for the sunlight to really come in also because the animals need the sun, sunlight. the light. And yes. also need the light. Yes. Mm. And it's very important actually when it has just delivered mm. for the piglets. Eh? This light helps them to grow much faster than if they were in the dark. In the dark place. Yeah, completely. So darkness really affects them yes. as well. Yes, yes. That's why most of the time even some farmers take mm. them outside. Exactly. Outside. And that's what we are definitely going, going to, to start doing. doing yes. Yeah. We shall be mm. taking like per partition so that they can exercise, get mm. some light outside as well. Does uh, that also improve on the meat production? Or it some? does, but I think for us basically it will be just a bit of exercise because the space we have in inside mm. is actually enough as you can it's see. We have enough. one animal powered. Pa partition. Yes, because mm -hmm. if I had many, then they'll be competing for exercise, but they can really move around as you can see. Okay. Then if they can't see him, that is normal. 
No man, yes, apply. He's, no man. he's applying the AMO. We actually do it every day. Every day. Mm. They have already finished cleaning. They have mm. already fed already. Fed, yes, because we feed at eight. At eight. Mm. Yeah. And it's already like nine. So mm. they're trying to put in the eye. Also, that the smell is not there. That's why we make sure. So the maintenance bit of this structure. Mm. Yes. How do you guys maintain it like every day? I don't know if they can see our structure has four sides in each partition. Yes. The first sides are actually cleaned and scrubbed every day with every a disinfectant. Day. You can get whichever. Yes. Like, you can get whichever works for you, depending on your budget, because these sides are actually scrubbed. Mm. The side where they feed from, mm. the side where they drink from, we scrub it every time. Yes. And with this method, it's an a bonus. Eh? Mm. The cleaning is not as hard. As hard. Because yeah. the lower part, you're not scrubbing it. Yes. You're simply picking out the what? The waste. The only. waste only, then you add in the wood shavings. Shavings, then you spray it. And eh? you spray it. The other important thing about the spring, the spring does not only take out the smell, but mm. makes it safe for the animal. Okay. In case the animal ate anything from down here, it mm. would not fall sick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but remember when you have the other, other method where you're scrubbing the floors with a detergent, with a detergent they'll still eat out of that detergent. Yes. Mm. First, the detergent is only put at the feeding, at the feeding point, point, which we mop out. Yes. Even the drinking trough, we later clean it out and it goes. And Goes. Yeah, so and the beauty about the trough, the drinking trough, it is slanting towards the end of the building. Mm. So that water, because remember when the pigs are drinking the water, they some of it splits out. Mm. So it, when it goes to the trough, it flows over and goes to the sock pit is outside. So all that water goes down on the outside bit of it, which is really a bonus to this kind of structure. Mm. Then of course the feeders are also separated. Exactly. Yes. And the bit about this, the pigs that we are rearing here, guys, we do not mix the the what the water in our, uh, feeds. In our feeds. They separate the feeds, then they go and drink. And the beauty about the pigs, they love the food so much, they eat as they go to the drink, and the, to the nipples, to the nipples. and, and they drink as well. Then also another bonus about this partitioning method, eh? yeah. the way ours are partitioned. You know, if you have very many and they are the same age, they mm. really compete for food. For food. So imagine if your pig is expecting and you have two of them at the in the same partition. Mm. One will eat more than the other, hence the piglets that will come out from the other one will really be. Way bigger. Yes, and the other ones will be smaller. smaller. Exactly. Mm. So with this one, it makes it easier to partition, to give the portion in the right way and yes. you're sure it's eating it alone. Yeah. But when they are at least smaller, it's still okay because okay. one will eat and get tired and the other will continue. But with these ones, they'll be competing for the food. Yeah. And also another thing is about fighting. Exactly. So when this pig really grows bigger in size, the more they become a little bit aggressive, competitive. Mm. So when you separate them, it is really so good because they, they don't fight. Everyone is on their own space. They can rest very well. You know, you talked about uh, taking them to exercise outside. Yes. Yes. Then... Uh, you mentioned something about meat production. Yes. Of course, when they are out eh, exercising, mm. they are reducing fats. Yes. You know, people don't want fats. So, so, want so when they do that, they are, they, they are reducing fats. The so fat. they, are, they are almost now getting to muscle tissues. Eh? Yes. Uh, yeah, that's it now. What that's I also wanted to ask, like, de depending on our partitions, like mm. this particular section here, mm. because I'm seeing here these are sores. Mm. Are these the expecting ones? Did we divide them depending on the expecting ones? The ones that have just weaned, how have we done it here? Um, usually, mm. they say um, we only remove them where they are going to deliver. Eh? Yes. Yeah. They, usually, they are in a, a different room. Yes. When it is getting close to delivery, delivery. Yeah, we mm. get we get it into a more comfortable place. Yes. Because you know, like we 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 talked this we talked about this some time back. Mm. When a when a pig is when a sow is near in the delivery time, yes. it needs to be in a more comfortable place, mm. a warm place to get ready to receive the to young receive ones. The piglets. Yeah. Wow. Mm. But if you, you can also look at it, when you look at our first line, the first partition, eh? mm. all those ones are waiting for the word to be served. To be served. Mm. So it even makes it easy for working. Easy. Yes. Yeah? You just know the first line is. The first line are ready for service. Mm. The second line are the ones we recently what? 
wind okay. with piglets. Eh? Okay. So these ones here, there's that line there, the ones which I've just delivered in the last week yes. because we have three of them. Yes. Then these they're other... still with, their ma with their piglets. Yes, because some of them are a week old. There's two weeks, right? Yeah, some are two, two weeks, some are four days. Mm. Four days. And yeah. it still helps us with the feeding because, okay. you know, this line receives this number of kilos. Yes. And these piglets are taking crib feeds or not because yes. the piglets are in the same, the same line. line. Then these ones, you know, are expecting... expecting. So you, when you come to check, eh? Mm. It's you know easier for working. Go, yeah? Yes. And you Just know where to, to go. go. When you want a uh, one that is expecting, you know where to go. Wow. Mm. We don't have even to number the rooms. We just come. You just mm. come here. Mm. Because we know that part, the section the they are section in. Of yeah. mm. Where they are in. Wow, that mm. is really so nice. Now let's look at this other section here. This other side, guys, when you come here, this is quite also different. Mm. Because when you look at this section here, these are all by the our wind piglets. They are really looking amazing as you can see them. But the sectioning, like if you see the structure, it is quite longer. It's not partitioned enough. Mm. And I mean, it's not partitioned like this other previous one that we've been looking at. Because they were wind, there are so many of them here. So that's why we had to give them bigger the space. space. And also the thing is they're almost the same age. That's why you see we put all of them together. Because these are from different mothers, mm. but still they are tagged. So we know which mother Gave birth it to which one? Yes. So don't do not get confused that there are so many. We are going to get confused which one is for which one. No, these ones are going to grow together. They are the same size. Even the feeding portions are almost going to be the same. They are the same, isn't it? They're the same, apart yes. from only one. Apart from one that we are right now trying to yeah, bottle feed. Special care. Mm. special care because it's a little bit smaller. Mm. Remember piglets when they are also born, some of them are smaller. Exactly. This is what happens. Eh? Mm. At this stage, eh, you mm. see it is very small. Mm. But with time. When they, they are, when, they, yeah, when they are like five months or six, you don't believe even bigger, bigger than mm. the yeah. rest. Yeah. That is happens. also another beauty about hey. like selecting piglets. Mm. You know, whenever we are going to buy like piglets from other farmers, what what I got, what I got to learn is mm. do not look at the size, size when you're buying piglet. because sometimes the size, the little one that you think that it's really so small, mm. made surprise you and you get it like when it grows it will yeah. be more bigger than the ones you thought that are going to be huge that is the beauty about it so sometimes it's also the feeding of course but also the genes really differ as well yeah, they do differ. this is why we actually insist eh? mm. when you're buying piglets look mm. at the mom exactly. ask for the mom because eh? mm. that's when you get a clear picture yes. if the mom is like this if the mom has like 14 teeth eh? yes. then it's a good breed Wow, that is yeah. amazing. Yeah. So we are back still to this structure. Then here. you look at this structure, mm. Tina, you can see the feeding trough is really, really long. long. Yes. So that means our piglets are not competing for feeds because yes. the food will be spread throughout. Yes. You can see them sleeping, like they are fed, they are they're tired. Fed, they are resting. They are resting. Yes. Eh? So these ones which are not yet really to the point are mm. still feeding. feeding yeah, Imagine true. these piglets have been feeding from eight. From eight, yeah, true. Because mm, the food is really the right portion. The right for, portions for them. Mm. We are not overfeeding, we are not underfeeding no, them as not. well. Mm. So yeah. from the troughs here, the feeding troughs, the opposite section has the drinkers. Mm. I mean the nipples. The nipples mm. are quite many as you can see. Mm. And also the beauty about these nipple drinkers, as you can see, that those ones that are a bit lower, lower. then there are those ones that are a bit higher. higher. Mm. So the, what is the what can what explanation do we have for that? Uh, you first know first? they are not going to stay young. Eh? Like yes. they are. You see now they are they are one month old. Eh? Mm. At some point they are going to be five months. Eh? Mm. Actually, another thing we need to tell them. Eh? Mm. Here they are 25. Yes. But uh, when they get to four months, again we are going we to are going to reduce them. them. Yeah, we are going to separate mm. them, put them in some other room. They'll from the other room when again. Big yeah, in yeah, size, yeah, sure, eh? sure. they can still to get stay together. Wow. And then the feeding trough. We also, we also change. We also change. So we keep changing them depending on their mm. sizes. Because mm. we can have because now. Because we can see. Uh, mm. You see? I'm yeah. saying like in this now. Are you seeing these ones? Yes. They used to be 15. They used, they to, used be to be 15. 15. I remember. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I will show you the video when they were 15 uh -huh. in their in the temporal structure. Mm. So this is what I've just told them here. Mm. Eh? Here they are 25 mm. when they are younger. Yes. When they get to like five months or four. They get separated. Yes, yeah, even for, three months. Mm. Yeah, even three months. Yes. Yeah, for them to become because they stop, they will start fighting, fighting. and all, and then even for competing for, for the food. Mm. That's when the other nipples, the higher ones, are the very important. Are very mm. important. Because mm. they are high. Because mm. you know, today we have young ones. Tomorrow mm. we're going to have old ones. Mm. Old ones. So yes. when we get young ones here, they are going to be drinking from from these from nipples, nipples that are that are. 
lower. So they, that are lower. Eh? Yes. So when they are old, they are going to use these ones. Up. So you invest in both because you don't know what you don't you'll be using chances, that eh? house for. Because yeah, so you can't say, I'm going to be using mm. this one for young ones only. You don't know yes. what the future has. But if you have you. very many that on the so farm. True. Wow. Then also like the, you can see how we built our structure. Mm. It is quite, it's a permanent one. Mm. They used concrete for the, for the feeding puffs. You can see. Because the pigs, I was telling them earlier on, when the pigs grow bigger, mm. they become more, more aggressive, aggressive mm. and also more stronger, energetic. Yeah. Mm. energetic. Mm. So you need to make sure that at least the feeding troughs are strong enough because mm. these pigs, by the way, even dig down. Mm. The good thing about our flooring here, mm. it is Still cement minted. casted, yes, mm. so that they cannot reach to the ground and mm. also make themselves dirty. Mm. Actually, that reminds me, Tamusinge, eh? mm. um, about about IMO. Mm. Uh, you know, different animals eh, are created differently yes. for different reasons. Yes. Now, for example, if you look at the duck, eh, yes. it has a webbed feet. Yes. That means it, it is made for to stay on water sometimes. Yes. Eh? Yes. So now these ones, eh, they have what they call a snout. Eh? Yes. Yes. The nose. The ground, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like you said, so, is digging. So, so the that's one when, that's how eh, IMO gets better. Eh? Mm. So because they have a, a chance to dig the ground, yes. they kind of dig around the what. Mm. That the room they think they are digging the ground when actually they are digging IMO because they are made to do what to dig the ground. Mm. So for you, is they are going to, to, to make a, a sty, eh? mm. a, flo a cement flow is not good because mm. pigs are not are supposed to be digging the ground. The so ground. when you make cement, honestly, you don't, you, they are not good there, they are not comfortable. Yeah, mm. is there anything else you could maybe teach our fellow viewers out there about the IMO system? What like, they should, yeah. Why they should really consider the IMO system for no uh -huh. pig, no smell pig okay. farming. Okay. Mm. Um, of course, for many times, eh, mm. we have given them reasons why IMO is good. Eh? Yes. But then, something we have never told them. Yes. When you use IMO, you're going to be saving money. The money you're supposed to be using to buy drugs. Eh? All yes. the time. You're going to be using less money on that because they don't get sick easily. Mm. Because they are not eating, they're like, they, they, they are poor. When they poop, no, yeah. When you put IMO, it dries the it dries the, 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 the bacteria. Mm. They are not harmful, so everything is fine here. Yes. So, like if you're supposed to be the warming, like uh, every mm. month, you're yes. going to be the warming every after three months because you're using this solution here. Okay. And even the other thing about this method, eh? mm. you can actually have piggery at the place you are staying mm. at. True. Because it won't smell, eh? and even consider your neighbors. But if you're using the other, other method, eh? Oh my God! Paul, yes. even tell you what what's happening in this area. We have gone to some farms. Let me mm. tell you guys. Trust me, that some farms you go to, mm. the stench, the smell is too horrible. In that we just want to get out of the place. Mm. So be someone who can also improve your farm. Mm. At least use the IMO system. It is not bad as long as you can maintain it. Make sure that you spray, you remove the wastes all the time, at mm. least when, and the good thing about the pigs is they're very clever animals. Mm. They all, they, they get a section that Where they, they always put do their there. business. Yes, they do their business. Mm. So you just come and just remove part of the wastes and you take them to your garden. Mm. Then you spray. After spraying, trust me, there's no smell at all. Mm. Whoever is going to come and visit your farm will not smell anything mm. at all. That's what I should really tell you guys. Yeah. Then also for people who are using the IMO system, mm. this is an advice to you. In case you're using it, sometimes, you know, removing the, um, the wood shavings, because we're using wood shavings mostly here. There's sawdust, then wood shavings, mm. but we used to use the sawdust. Sawdust, which is not so nice. But it's not really that good because the pigs were, when the water gets in, becomes like soil uh, easily. Uh, and it like even gives them cough. Eh? And even when, when, when the breezing, mm. it, it enters the lands, to the eh? lungs. Uh, when they are newborns. Huh? Yeah, so it's not really when they good. are old. Okay. So, then, so on a new, wood shavings are better. They are much better. They are much better. Then yes. another thing is, someone watching could say, ah, I cannot afford to use this method because mm. I can't afford to buy the IMO all the time. Mm. But you know, you can locally make it make at your, your farm. Own. Yes. Mm. So the time will come when they'll come and we teach them how to make. We are actually going to make our own, own. here because we are going to cut mm. costs as well. Yes, so. We don't want to be buying all the time. Yes, like, exactly. You can make it and these ingredients it. to make them are, not, are readily within, available. Within you can farms. even get them at your farm. Yes, exactly. Yes. So what I was also trying to address about the IMO system is in case maybe you get illnesses, diseases in your farm and you're mm. using the, the system. It's very advisable. Change all the, immediately. The, like wood the wood shavings. 
disinfect the whole pen or the section then you change of course you have to isolate your pig make mm. it very far and also disinfect the whole building but change it immediately so that it doesn't affect other pigs other things, yes yeah. it is a very good method but also very dangerous in case you don't really take good care of it as well but it's very very good very easy to maintain Tain. it is less stressful mm. Seriously. The work, the workload, the workload mm. Mm. for cleaning. Because well, imagine all these pens if we are scrubbing the floors, how many people would have to then scrub? You're using a lot of water, of course, and even water. Because mm. mm. every saying, room needs what? Jerry of water, water or, to or gallons mm. of water to, to clean. Yeah. But now you don't have to be cleaning this water. You can move around, mm. clean the troughs, That's... water channels, mm. and you're done. Wow, that is really so amazing. So. I wanted you to also give me your opinions for mm. someone who says, okay, I have my, my, what is it called, the slated kind mm. of flooring, and I wanted to transform. What would you tell them to do first? Should they just give, destroy the whole building or just improve it? You just improve it. Okay. Because mm. remember, most times with a slated building, it's already built with concrete yeah, up. Yeah. So you can improvise mm. and raise it a bit inside to put that depth there where you're going to put your what? IMO. Mm. And you, you'll save a lot of money in the future because, my dear, those things scrubbing them, it's very, very, it's hard. very hard. And even the money you're using. Is, yeah, and then you visit farms. Eh? Like I yes, said, visit other back, people's uh, farms. Farming is like brother, brotherhood. Eh? Yes. If you know, like here, Tina here, mm. she has a farm. Come be, to Valley be, be a friend. Eh? Huh? And Come visit, and you see what she's doing and different. See what doing there. Yeah, and actually, when you also you go to post farms, you learn. Yeah. You learn, yeah. you learn yeah. maybe appreciate because. your farm, or you say, okay, I need to improve here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, but By visit the way, other people. We are still visiting other farms. Mm. It's not that, yeah, we are the experts, we know everything. No, we you also visit. go to other farms, we see, and we also improve. Because we've gone to other farms whereby we say, okay, our next structure, we are going to improve something like this. Mm. So it is still, we are still improving and we are still learning from each other. So when you come here, you learn one or two things. When you go to a different farm, you learn one or two things. And also make sure you do your research as well. Yeah. Something that is very comfortable for you and very convenient for you. For mm. Your pocket, pocket exactly. wise as well. Exactly. Yes. It may be convenient for for me, but, but it may not be convenient exactly. for another person. So mm. as long as it, you can afford it, try and and also make sure that they try. At least try something. Do not just be rigid and feel like, okay, I, I, no, I'm not going to do that because you feel like this is what I want and that is it. Try things that try are new things. Yes. Mm. That's what I should really say. But this is our no smell pig house so far. Mm. I was just giving you like updates and I hope you guys have really learned something on IMO. Is there anything else that you wanted to address before we end not the really. Maybe they can look at what Prosper was saying, how they dig and eat inside. Because no, with this about, system, yeah. eh, you don't be afraid they're going to get the worms, eh? Yes. Because the thing is already disinfected. The IMO, yeah. Eh? The, 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 the biggings, eh? Because, mm. like I said, eh? Pigs are their nature. To, to be digging the ground. Eh? It's mm. their nature to dig the ground. <laughs> so when you make cement, a floor, a cement floor. And you're scrubbing the floor. You have nothing to scrub, to dig on. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's why, actually, that's when they get manners of fighting. Of eh? fighting. Yeah, because they have nothing keeping them busy. Keeping them busy. So yeah. digging and also keeping them cool. Mm. Keeping them cool. Yeah. But remember with the cement form, the other one of the slates, mm. eh? Mm. You know, if they pigs, don't dig, yeah. they're going to fight. Pigs, pigs also need comfort. Eh? Like mm. you see those uh, ampers. The yeah. ampers. See how they are sleeping together. Yes. They are trying to, be, to, to, to warm themselves. Warm them. You so, can't even look so, at this So if batch. it is cement, honestly, mm. how, 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 how on earth will they like, be comfortable? Yes. Yeah. That is they need comfortability. Wow, that yeah. is really so amazing, guys. Mm. I really appreciate your knowledge. Thank you. I really appreciate your knowledge, guys. Thank I really you. appreciate your points that you've really shared with the, with the viewers out there. Mm. The pig star looks really very clean. There's no smell, very comfortable. You can come here, mm. eat your food, go read back. The and read the newspaper. Read the newspaper, yes. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, it's actually, a very rest. good... This sometimes you come here to rest. Eh? Mm. And like, because there's no sand. It's and it's cool inside here. It's very here. cool inside, You're yes. not worried of the smell. At all, yeah. So it is really very advisable for someone to to do mm. such a system in their farm because it's cost effective mm. in the long run. Mm. Really, yes. that's what I should really say, and also helps your your animals health wise because they don't fall sick all the time. So it is really advisable, guys. So in case you have any questions, please leave them down below so that in the next video we can definitely come so that we can also answer them and also yeah share with your friends and family. 
tell a friend to tell a friend do not forget to subscribe to the channel and also give us a like and also leave your comment on what you think about this whole building did you like it what would you start something like this similar to this as well yeah that's what we had for you guys today till next time bye bye